Hey guys, Silver here, and today I'm going to be opening and reviewing the Digimon Adventure Digicole Data 2 set from Mega House. And this box set comes with Biomon, Gatomon, Gabumon, Tentomon, and then they're in training and fresh modes, except for Gatomon, who comes with her rookie form. And this is the second set in the series. There will be a third one coming out this month, and the first one had like Agumon, Gomamon, the other eight digi-destined Digimon that aren't here. The side of the box here. Then the bottom is plain. And I'm just gonna get right into it now so we can open the top of the box here. And you can see all of the boxes inside. I should get the entire set, although the boxes are random. So let's just pull them out one by one. All right, now let's zoom in on the box. I really like these cute little boxes they come in, shows all the figures. There is eight figures in this box. And the fresh and in training forms all come as just one uh, solid unit. All right, so let's open the box up. And you can see cute little Tokomon on the box inside. I love Tokomon, I wish Tokomon was in this set. Unfortunately, no. We do have Gatomon here though. That is the first figure. And can, you can see there is some assembly required. Her tail, body, and then head. And then it comes with a blue base. All right, now that I've assembled Gatomon, let's look at her up close. Gatomon looks great. All of her colors and paints, very nice looking. Great sculpting. I love her tail ring that they included that. And I love her pose, very dynamic pose. So Gatomon is definitely one of my favorites so far. All right, so since we started with Gatomon, let's look at Salomon and Nyarumon now. And the first thing you can see is probably the piece of poster tape I have on the base because Salomon and Nyarumon are very, very top heavy. I couldn't even do this without them falling over like five times, so I just decided to put a piece of poster tape on here to keep them on because they are so top heavy. But let's do a 360 with them. You can hopefully see the gradient paint that they used on Salomon. It's a nice kind of toasty marshmallow looking gradient that they used. And I really like Nyaruman. Nyaruman is very cute. I love the stripes on her tail. And other than this figure being very top heavy, I think it looks great overall. Now let's look at Yokomon and Nyokimon. And these two are very cute together. The one thing I did notice though is that you can see the seam on Yokomon right here. I'm not a huge fan of when I see really obvious seams, but it isn't super noticeable unless you look really up close to the figure. And you can see Nyokimon is made of a really nice looking transparent plastic. And the top of the figure, really nice flower. And these two, again, minus the one, minus seeing the seam, I think look very good. So now we have Biomon here, and she's one of my favorites of the bunch. All of her colors look fantastic. She has a rather interesting looking pose here. I'm not sure quite what you would call this, but you can actually turn her head if you would like to. So look at that, that's adorable. I really love this Biomon figure. You can see her tail feathers all look great. And she has a little anklet on her leg here you, that you can see. So I really love Biomon here. Surprisingly, one of my favorites of the bunch. 
Now we have my favorite in training in fresh form figures here, Motimon and Pabumon. And again, Pabumon has a really nice transparent lime green plastic that they used. And Motimon also has a gradient on it, a really cute pink gradient. And these two are just adorable. I really love Motimon and Pabumon. They look great. Little bubbles on Pabumon. So these two are definitely my favorite in training and fresh form figures of the box. Next up, we have one of my favorite Digimon, Tentomon. And I really love the pose they gave Tentomon. Very dynamic. And you can see on the back, his wings are made of a transparent orange plastic. Very, very nice. I love the sculpting they did. You can see his multiple limbs. And there is something I did notice on this figure. I will zoom in here. There was a bit of glued, a couple chunks of glue around his antenna here. I guess they were glued in separately, but the, when I peeled off the glue, I used a pair of tweezers to get it off. It did leave uh, some residue behind, and I still, I still don't think I got all of it off. But it's a, that's a thing I keep finding with Mega House figures. The glue job is kind of sloppy on some of these guys. Just like with Jesse. But I'm not, too, I'm not too pleased about that. And there is some bleeding on his spots right here. And around his eye, it isn't the cleanest paint job. Overall, I do really like the sculpting, and you really have to get up close to kind of notice some of these errors, but I still don't want to see this kind of stuff, especially since Mega House figures are so expensive. But there is Tentomon. And the final in training and fresh form figures we have here are Sunomon and Punimon. And Sunomon has a texture to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. They gave it a very nice looking texture, almost like he has fur. There is a bit of paint transfer on his horn here. And there is a, again, more sloppy paint right here on his cheek. But Punimon, again, they use a nice red plastic for him. I really like that they did that with all of the fresh forms. So these two are cute together. I just wish there were less uh, errors on Sunomon, but Punimon looks great. So there are those two. And now we have the final figure in the box and the one I was most looking forward to, Gabumon. And unfortunately, Gabumon is the figure I'm most disappointed by. You can see the colors here. I thought they would be much more bright like they were shown in the advertisement for the box but the colors on him are pretty dull looking and I can zoom in here. You can see a huge splotch right by his eye from the yellow paint from the horn and even the horn itself looks kind of eh. It does not look nearly as nice as it does in the prototype or the advertisement, whatever you want to call it. And I really don't like the paint that they used on his pelt's ears. It kind of looks dirty. If, if you guys remember my Tomi figure Latias review, it's kind of the same thing. This like almost pale bluish paint almost always ends up looking kind of dirty. And this splotch bothers me so much. I've already tried to take a little bit of acetone to try to get it off to no success. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with that, but quite disappointing there. But if we look at, let's just take the base off. If we look at his chest symbol here, again, a little sloppy right here by his leg some spots on his knee. There is nice sculpting though. I love the pose that they gave him. That's why I was so excited for Gabumon because this is a really cute looking figure from afar. 
his pelt, all the really nice colors that they used for his claws. I love that purple. I just wish the colors were brighter and that there were less mistakes on the actual figure. But now we can do the 360 for Gabumon here. It is still a nice looking figure from afar. And if I had it on a bookshelf, I would still, I still think it would look nice, but these errors in the paint being kind of dull do make me disappointed. But there is Gabumon. All right guys, so I've assembled everyone here and my overall thoughts on the box set are, well, I don't think I would recommend buying the entire set. But if you're a fan of any of these Digimon, I think it's worth buying them individually. Even though I do have some problems with the glue and some of the paint errors and the dull paint used on Gabumon, I still think they're cute overall nice figures, especially Biomon, Gatomon, and Motimon and Pabumon. They, those are my favorite of the bunch. So if you're a fan of any of those Digimon or really anyone here, I'd say definitely buy them individually. I think the getting the entire box set's a bit much. But regardless, I will leave a link in the description down below if you are interested in purchasing this box set yourself. I will be ordering the third set this month that has all of the Digimon from Hurricane Touchdown. So it has Gatomon, Patamon, Terriermon, Lopmon, and Vmon and Wormmon in it. So like I said in the past that Vmon, his line is my all time favorite Digimon line. So I'm really looking forward to getting some Vmon merch. So hopefully I'll have better luck with nicer figures in that box set. I will try to get more Digimon videos out in the future. So I hope you all subscribe and look forward to that. Thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.